Hi, this is Kim Pinkney, and welcome to my channel. Alrighty, this is Mermayhem, and I've got uh, three mermaids that I'm working on. Uh, right here is the rough of the mermaid, and um, pretty much I had a five-hour live stream uh, showing this. So basically, um, I'm going to be fleshing out um, the mermaids. Um, it started off with just one and um, it was just going to be her looking pretty and uh, looking like a little fighter all by herself. And then I decided, you know what, it kind of looks weird with her all by herself. So let me add a buddy here, somebody to spar with. And then I'm like, you know what, this is kind of weak looking. Let me add another character. Maybe I can do a different fighting pose for them. And I was watching a person dancing with two swords. And I was like, oh wow, I could use this. So I started watching her and I liked how her movements and uh, her, her dress were just like so beautiful and flowing. I'm like, this would be like perfect for these little uh, Japanese fighting fish. And I'm like, oh, Japanese fighting fish. So I'm like, why don't I, I take like the feudal era, throw it underwater, and then um, see if I can uh, throw in some enemies. Like uh, these uh, beta fish uh, are very territorial. So I'm like, well, how about these ladies be like Amazons? Amazon mermaids underwater and um, they look like geishas. So underwater geishas, under, <laughs> underwater geisha mermaids uh, defending their territory. And so um, I drew a guy in one of the uh, uh, old time um, uh, aqualung type uh, helmets and whatnot and uh, have them kind of fighting. And that was like the rough uh, evolution sketch. It went from uh, being like a little sea serpent that they're attacking to this warrior guy. Um, so as I, as things progressed, you know, I, I was noticing that I didn't want to waste time uh, drawing uh, drawing pieces that are going to be covered up by other pieces on a different layer. So I decided to change the initial pose um, to uh, incorporate the arm, but that would also incorporate me having to change the pose a bit to try to keep up with it. So I decided, you know what, let's bring those arms together and have them do something. And I figured that this mermaid, you know, everybody had their, their swords in the air, but nobody was hitting anything. So I'm going to have these ladies tear these men, these creatures apart, or at least start on it. So um, the first mermaid, um, has has changed to like holding some sort of trident and she's stabbing the uh, um, the the shark and the shark it's funny I was going to have uh, a seahorse at first and I'm like nah no not a seahorse and I'm like let's have him ride a shark he's gonna be badass and on the tail of the shark it's gonna have the shark fin it's gonna have like some sort of symbol like the sun is on fire or some flowers on fire or something something that that you can't do underwater something on land that you just cannot do underwater and um, and uh, so I have that on the tail and then I have um, I decided I was going to use the same colors of the fighting fish that I saw, the ones that really caught my eye with the, the beautiful colors. And um, I decided to change uh, the mermaid, you know, and make her look a little bit more geisha. So I kind of have the makeup going with the mermaid. And um, I couldn't decide really on how I wanted to do uh, the weapon. Um, so I just kind of left it alone. Um, the uh, uh, you know, I just left it like gold. I wanted to try to use like something natural that uh, a warrior would use while they're underwater. I mean, they can't forge anything that we know of, but they may have other methods and things like that. So um, the first mermaid, um, I wanted her to have like, um, like how uh, Sailor Moon has little um, buns, the two the twin buns, and it has uh, uh, the ponytail that, that trails off from it. Well, I wanted her to have like five on her head, but I only show uh, three at this angle. 
and uh, each one of them will be trailing some hair and then um, I want kind of like the fins merging into the arms and onto um, uh, her upper thigh and into that and I had a little trouble with the scales and then I mean I you can tell I had a little bit of problems um, I had uh, redrawn them as many different times as I could to try to get them to, to look right to look uniform and I was failing miserably and even when I thought they looked like crap some of them look good some of them look like crap and I'm like no nah, I can't do this so eventually I found a way to uh, make the scales work for me and um, I uh, realized that as I was doing it, and I'm more than 75% into it, that I realized that all the scales are on the wrong layer. Um, so I, I just get pissed and then I try something different. So I ended up using scales that I made from um, a pattern and uh, finished that. Anyway. Moving forward, um, I I was kind of awkward. The, the the second mermaid was going to be a little bit more awkward because I she's there and I, I I wanted her to attack and then I didn't. You know I was getting kind of tired and kind of hangry. I just was like getting really super frustrated because I couldn't seem to get this to work. And then one of my subscribers, Julie, who's been with me the entire time, uh, bless her heart. Um, suggested that maybe she looks like she's tossing the shark and I'm like huh yeah so um, I cut off a little piece of the shark's tail and have it in um, the other mermaids hands so like she's holding on to it and she's uh, taking pieces of this shark so um, I decided to go ahead and um, I'm not sure what weapon I'm going to throw in her hands, uh, whether it's going to be um, a saw of some sort, which would be kind of cool, and um, you know, just something that she could attack with. Um, so I, I can see her as more. Yeah, these these chicks are are badass. Um, if I do another one, they'll probably be piranhas <laughs> tearing up this shark and going after this man. But this guy is uh, definitely human because he's straddling the shark and he's got one of those um, deep, deep sea diver helmets on and I want it to kind of, I want that DC deep sea diver helmet to kind of look like um, uh, like the the helmet of a samurai I want him to look really super intimidating so I'll be playing with that um, in another video but um, just to summarize this this is where we are so far. I uh, made some scales and colored the tail. Um, I left her kind of topless and until I could figure out what else to do with her. Um, but yeah, this is where I am and uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to catch any of uh, the process, just catch the live stream and just speed to whatever portion that uh, you're interested in. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye.